We got the Hardy Boys here. Jeff, Matt, they busy autographing. While they working, we're gonna talk. I wanna shoot some questions their way. So, I know what your first concert was, I'm pretty sure. What was your first concert you've ever been to? Pearl to the Jam, Charlotte, North Carolina. And you've seen them multiple times, right? Since then, for sure, yeah. What's your favorite Pearl Jam song? I know his, I wanna know yours, because I interviewed him already. Right now, I'm gonna go with Present Tense. Huh? Present tense. Yes, okay. Yes, present tense. What is your favorite song to sing that's not your song? Uh, it would have to be Unwell by Matchbox 20. I'm not crazy, I'm just a little unwell. I know right now you can't tell. But since you're so sweet, I'm gonna sing it all the way. Oh, 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 Whatever that Vanilla Ice album was called. Dum, 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 yeah, dum, dum, oh, dum. yeah. But what was the other? There, there was another song besides Ice Ice Baby that was, yeah, was popular. Funky, I, uh, I feel like Matt may know it. Uh, vanilla Ice song? Yeah. yeah, there was like another single. Not Ice Ice Baby. Where there play, was like, play that funky music. Play that funky that music. music. Yeah. yeah. What's your favorite metal band? Uh, Slipknot. Slipknot is freaking yeah. awesome. Shout out to Corey. What's your favorite metal band? I never asked you that. I, I would, I'd probably say like Tool, if they, if they fall into that category. Tool, or Tool Circle. definitely is metal. Big, big fans of those guys. Uh, you also love hip hop. Do you listen to hip hop? Yeah, I love it all. Uh, Tupac or DMX? Mm, it's hard. I wasn't really listening during that time, but I would say DMX out of the two. Yeah, yeah. The whole Biggie Tupac thing I, I missed because I was like, we were wrestling and I was still, we were all in alternative music at that time. I'll go with Tupac because my daughter just ordered a book and it's full of Tupac poetry. I never knew he did I that. have that book. It is just a French eight yeah, that to me. For sure. So. so let me ask you a question. He's so into art, right? Can, can you show this if you don't mind? That's so cool right there. So has your brother always been into art since oh, yeah. you guys He's were our kids? He's an artist since day How one. is his art? It was better than mine at first. Really? I don't know. That's yeah. So did he strange. teach you this? No. <laughs> no, yeah. He, he was more realistic, and I've always been the abstract guy. When did you do this a piece? Oh, this is nice. 2019, I believe. 5 9 2019. Medusa. That was before the pandemic shut down the world. Man. Dude, that was so crazy. Yo, that's so dope, bro. And then what is, the, do you have any kind of inspiration with this one? Or? Yeah, it's just my autograph is in there. That's why I just wanted to do something in, with my autograph incorporated into it. Oh, uh, man. Yeah, it's in there like two times. And I noticed even like at your home, you'd have like all these like abstract like sculptures you had at your home, like you share on social media. Yeah. Yeah, back in the day, I used to do that. That's long gone. What do you do with that stuff? What did you do with it? It all, the, I, when our house burned down back in 08. I'm oh, sorry to hear that. Yeah, it's all good. That was a very tragic, you know. Yeah, trauma. that's kind of a Field crazy. time, yeah, they, they all burned up. Burnt up. Good yeah. Lord. Yeah, yeah because I, I love how you, you paint your face and you were even documenting that at some times because it's so crazy because it's like, it's like two, it's like a, a face and a face. Yeah, a bunch of faces on my face. That's, that's where I get such joy out of it. How the hell did you come up with it? Just from the one day, just messing around? Thank you, Sting. Thank you, the Road Warriors. Thank you, the Ultimate Warrior, because that influenced me to do what I do today. Yes, yes. Well, listen, these guys are so busy. Thank you for your time. And Matt is such a great guy. I've not had a chance to really get to know you, but you rock. And uh, you guys support everything they do. Uh, where can they catch you guys now, right now? Uh, I mean, you can catch us on TV at AAW, but like uh, my social media is Matt Hardy Brand. I use it quite a bit. Uh, Jeff, not really a social media guy, but he has some stuff at Jeff Hardy yeah. Brand on, on most platforms. Yes. There, there's something out there. <laughs> and, <laughs> and he's got his music. Yeah, and it's... This, this guy's music is awesome, man. Yeah, new music, a lot of new music coming out. Really? The the year. Yeah, I've got four different projects going on, four different artists, Ohio, Tampa, Carolina, and Nashville. So like four different projects about to come out in 2024, man. That's what's up, man. That song that you did was like the, the like the anthem with the broken universe too, like that yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, it was crazy. And then when I heard the original, I was like, holy, because I I didn't hear the original at first, right? I heard the chanting. 
And then I was like, I went on the website once, it was like a Black Friday sale or some shit, so I went on the site to see what was going on, Impact or TNA, whatever it was at the time. And then I was like, oh damn, there's that, it was like selling the song, like you could download it for like 99. I was like, this is an actual effing song to this. I was like, and then I listened to it, I was like, that shit is knocking right there. So yeah, man, thank you guys. Peace and love, support them. These guys are the greatest ever, man. Come on. Hello. Of all space and time, brother Nero. Thank you, man. <laughs> love Thanks, bro. Thank you so much. <laughs>
you got to watch the Matt Hardy interview where we talk about his first concert. And that's why I was saying to Jeff, like, I, I'm pretty sure I know your first concert because he was talking about it then. Uh, but I wanted to set that up to hear what his favorite song was. And uh, shout out to WrestleCade, WrestleCade.com. You could watch this three-day event of wrestling, incredible matches. WrestleCade.com, Tracy Myers, Brian Hawk. You guys are incredible to me. Never overlooked. Thank you so much. Thank you so, so much. I mean it. Shout out to Tim Blaze too, man. Shout out to Tim Blaze. Miss your brother for real. And uh, shout out to Rebby, Rebby Hardy, and uh, the whole family. They were all out there repping. Uh, it was crazy cool. Like, super cool. I have so many interviews. And um, you guys just stay tuned. Subscribe if you're new. Hit the like. Share this with a friend. And we have two vlogs, two vlogs that are pretty sick. So check them out with more sneak peeks of interviews and tons of little skits and interactions. You're going to love it. If you love wrestling, you're going to love it. All right. Hardy boys forever, baby. The best of all space and time. I think I'm saying that right. <laughs> Thank you guys. Much love. Yeah. Brother Nero, I knew you'd come. <laughs> <laughs> What's your favorite metal band? Uh, Slipknot. Slipknot is freaking awesome. Shout out to Corey. Jeff Hardy, it's a long time.